What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change out your windshield wipers on a 2008 Kia Sportage or a car that's similar and you know same type of model. But yeah, let's get into it. We're going to change out the windshield wipers on my 2008 Kia Sportage. Let's go. So this is my driver's side. You can see it's busted. That's why I'm getting some streaks and stuff. It's got to be replaced. Let's go check out the passenger one. Busted. Got to be replaced. All right, we got the Rain-X uh, weather beater uh, windshield wipers. Uh, the four S's of why you should change out your windshield wiper is it's skipping, it's streaking, it's splitting, and it's squeaking. Uh, I got that from this. So yeah, we're gonna go change it out. This one is actually a size 24 on the big uh, driver's side. And on the, the smaller passenger side, it should be a size 16. So here's the parts, I'll show you how it looks. This is the brand and part I'm using. It's the Rain-X Weather Beater. It's long lasting, it got galvanized steel frame, all natural rubber squeegee, all that stuff. It has a J-hook that's pre-installed, smooth, clean, streak, free wipe, even pressure, distribution through multiple pressure points that hug the windshield yep yes uh and this is a 16 and a 24 24 and that's the blade and a size 16 uh my own actually over here is like broken and it's it's been a while but uh it's time to change it out and i'll show you how to let's get into it it's pretty easy uh you're gonna pull up your your driver blade right here and you're gonna see it Actually, you can see this pin right here, right here. That's pretty much what you gotta click, uh, click and remove out. Is this? There should be a tab right here, like this. And all you gotta do is push it like that, and you should pull it down. It's kind of like a pull, push and pull. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But let me go get a tripod. I'll show you how that looks. All right. So hopefully, I can get it. So to remove your old windshield wiper blades you're gonna push it down there's a tab here you're gonna push down and you're gonna pull it just you're supposed to put it straight down it's supposed to come straight down like that and it should come off just like that see it be careful not to slam this it might crack your own uh uh windshield but yeah there's a tab like this you're gonna push it unlock it and pull it down so the best bet is when you make it face down like that, you just pull straight down. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how that looks in a bit. All right, we got the Rain-X. Easy installation instructions, always read your instructions. It has a pre-installed connector fitting, nine times three J-hook arm. For larger J-hook arms, there's a re replace pre-installed and all that stuff. Uh, you're just gonna click it on. You're gonna open up this bad boy. If I, right here. Unboxing. We're gonna open up the bad boy, and if you don't trust it, you could always compare uh, the blade, you know, to its uh, the older version. There you go. The blade is looking nice. The nice, nice rubber. It's connected. It's not worn out and not uh, blown out, and it's cool, man. Look at that, flexible. There's that connector. Uh, but I don't think I'll need it because this is only for if it's if you're trying to extend it on a like a longer or a bigger car. But you see this? This is that tab you pull and then you you fix it, pull it down. We're gonna go install this and show you how. It's pretty simple. Uh, but I figured some people do need these how-to videos, and I want to help you guys. Let's go check it out. So you can see that J hook. All you gotta do is connect it right there. It's gonna install it like that, right? I'm gonna show you uh, this angle. Maybe I can do it with one hand now. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And you can see the clip there. You're just gonna shimmy it straight in. Just like that, and it should lock. Just like that, and it should lock. And that's the tab that we use to pull it to take it loose, but that's how you install it. We got one done, now we'll do the next. All right, so this one, uh, the arm is longer. But we're gonna just do it like this. We don't have to pull it all the way up. There's that tab again that I wanna show you. You push it, right? And then you're just gonna pull down and it, it's ready disengaged, it's unlocked. And you just gotta replace this. Careful not to slam that, it might crack your glass. 
old. And we got the new part right here, which I'll show you how it looks also. This is a size 16 for the passenger side. Let's go do this unboxing. Uh, it should be smaller. Mm -hmm. And there's that tab that uh, I, I showed you earlier. The bigger hole is where it goes into, like locks, and then you lock it and you pull it down. Let's go see if I can do that again with one hand. Hope you guys are enjoying this quick video of how to change out your windshield wipers and blades. All right, guys. So the bigger hole, the tab is on the inside. You'll see it there. You're just going to push it down like this on it and then pull up. It should lock. You'll hear a click. How you'll know also is there's going to be a little hole tab right here where the tab clicks onto. And all you do is put it back down and that's how it is. Show you how it looks. Uh, let's see if there's any more streaks. All right. Hit some water up in there. You can see the old streaks. Look at that. Cleans up really well. I mean, you can't really see it because you know, there's no water. But compared to earlier, look at that. Beautiful. Clean. And that's how you change out your windshield wipers on a 2008 Kia Sportage and similar cars. Again, the part number or part size is a 24 for the driver's side and a 16 for the passenger side. My name is Mark. Thank you again for watching. If you want and you like this video, please like this video. If you comment down below, I always reply, reply to every comment that I get. Subscribe if you haven't. And also, if you want to, check out older Kia how-to videos up here on my playlist. Peace. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.